Hello and welcome once again in this series where we are learning how to design solar system for our own homes. And now we are very close to design a solar system. So far we have learned that there are electricity generator like solar panel. In your solar system there is a energy storage like battery and there is a energy management system like inverter and charge controller. In this episode we look at more details about the electricity consumption aspect of it that is your appliances. So let us start discussing how much energy is consumed by an appliance and how much does it cost? What is my running cost? As we have learned already, the amount of energy consumed by an appliance depends on how much is the power rating of an appliance which you have learned in the step 1 and how much, how many hours you are going to use it. Now when it comes to how many hours you are going to use it, it is kind of fixed. We are not going to change because of solar system or this system or that system. So suppose if I need a light for 10 hours, I need a light for 10 hours. I am not going to change it. Then what is the another parameter of uh, finding out how much energy it consumes is the power rating. Now how much power an appliance consumes or how much power an appliance requires depends on its technology. What technologies it is using. If it is AC or DC technology. If it is less efficient or more efficient. So depending on how much is the efficiency of the technology, depending on how much how advanced the technology is, the power rating can vary and power rating can vary to get the same job output from an appliance. And if there is a high power rating, the device is going to consume or the appliance is going to consume more energy because energy is power multiplied by hour. Now for a common man, it is not necessary that we know all about the technology insights in an appliance or how much is the how efficient is an appliance to do the same job output because I'm comparing I'm going to compare apple to apple so if I want to compare a fan I would compare two fans of different technologies for the same air circulation a more efficient fan will require less power and therefore less energy for for a given uh, duration of operation and the less efficient fan will require more power and more energy for the same operation and for the same output and for the same time. So common men may not need may not need to know the difference between this technology but it is given by the agencies and in India the name of agency which gives the star rating is called Bureau of Energy Efficiency. It comes under the government of India. Arrangement called the star rating that is given for the appliance so that people can directly figure out from the star rating. So higher star rating means more efficient appliance. So the star rating is given from 1 star to 5 star. 1 star, 2 star, 3 star, 4 star and 5 star. So an appliance with the 5 star rating is more efficient than the appliance with the 2 star rating. And the more efficient appliance will actually take less power and less energy. The less star rating appliance will take more power and more energy. There are other technologies which are coming in the market is called the DC based technologies. As I told you last time in solar system, the solar panel generates DC, the electricity, the battery stores energy in the form of DC and therefore it makes a lot of sense to use DC appliance, appliance which consumes DC based electricity. The star ratings are not yet available for the DC appliances but in general the DC based appliances are more efficient as compared to the AC based appliance. So therefore DC appliance takes lesser energy and the lesser cost of operations. And there are two costs uh, of operation. There are two components in the cost of operation. One is called the fixed cost and other is running cost. Fixed cost is the cost that you pay while buying an appliance. So if you are buying an air conditioner, then whatever cost you pay at that moment is your fixed cost. Your running cost depends on how many hours you are going to use and how much energy the appliance is consuming. The energy consumption of appliance is of course given by efficiency but there is another parameter is called the rate of electricity. How much electricity rate you are paying. So suppose there is an appliance which is consuming 100 units per month and the rate of electricity is 6 rupees per unit. Your cost, your running cost is 100 into 6 is 600 rupees per month. In India, 
the electricity rates varies if it is a used for domestic applications or industrial or commercial application for the domestic applications the electricity rates varies from 5 rupees to 7 rupees per unit for most of the states and for the commercial or industrial applications the rate varies from 7 to 10 rupees sometime it is 11 to 12 rupees also so your actual cost of operation depends on what is the rate of electricity so when you are finding out the total cost of operation you need to know the fixed cost and the running cost and the running cost will have two components that is the amount of electricity consumed per month and what is the rate of electricity per unit for the lighting purpose if i want to same amount of light i must compare apple to apple so if i want same amount of light I may need a 100 watt incandescent bulb. If I'm not using incandescent bulb, I will use CFL, which will be about 30 watt for the same light output. And if I'm not using CFL, but I'm using LED, then the same light output can be obtained by about 10 watt of LED. Let us say in all these three cases, we are I'm using it for 10 hours per day. So in case of incandescent bulb, what is my energy requirement? I'm sure you know now how to calculate energy take the power and multiply by the time that is used per day so 100 watt bulb multiplied by 10 hour per day so I am getting 1000 watt hour per day so 1000 watt hour means 1 kilowatt hour which means 1 unit of electricity well that is, that is what is required by incandescent bulb the CFL which is 30 watt used for 10 hours per day will require 300 watt hours per day and the LED which is only 10 watt multiplied by 10 hours per day so it will only consume 100 watt hour per day now what is the total suppose I'm looking at the comparison of how much it costs me to use this appliance during one year so what is one year electricity consumption of a incandescent bulb 365 units what is one year electricity consumption of CFL 110 units and what is one year electricity consumption of LED 36 units now let, it, let us look at the total cost of operation. So total cost of operation is fixed cost plus running cost. So fixed cost is given in the blue color and the running cost is given in the orange color. So the fixed cost of bulb is about 15 rupees. The fixed cost of CFL may be about uh, 150 rupees for the 30 watt. And the fixed cost of LED is probably about 250 rupees for the 10 watt. And the running cost is the cost uh, electricity consumption and the rate of uh, electricity now i'm taking an example of six rupees per unit so if you multiply all these numbers you'll find a significant difference in the running cost for example the running cost of the incandescent bulb will be 2195 rupees per year for the cfl it will be 810 rupees per year and for the led it will be only 466 rupees per year let us take an another example of fans right fan is second most commonly used appliance at home again we should compare the same output right so what is the output that we are looking in the fan is the amount of air circulation and the amount of air circulation is given in terms of cubic meter per minute how much of cubic meter of volume of air is circulated per minute and typical fan the ceiling fan that we have at home is uh, of 1200 millimeter the wind the span of the blades are about 1200 millimeter now we go to the market there are two types of fans available these days one is the ac fans and the power that a ac fan takes is 55 watt to 70 watt but there are now the advanced technologies available more efficient technologies available which is based on what is called bldc or the dc fans or, or the brushless dc fans now these fans can give you the same air circulation, the same wing span dimension. So basically same output, so we can compare ap apple to apple. So for the same air circulation, this fan takes only 25 watt of power. So how much is electricity consumed by the AC fan? So 60 watt into 10 hours per day multiplied by 365 days in a year and multiplied by another factor of 10 because now we are comparing for 10 years similarly for the dc fan 25 watt multiplied by 10 hours per day multiplied by 365 days and multiplied by 
टेन इयर्स सो द टोटल इलेक्ट्रिसिटी कंजम्पन फॉर द ए सी फैन पर इयर इज टू हंड्रेड एंड नाइनटीन यूनिट्स एंड इन इन टेन इयर इज टू थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड एंड नाइन्टी यूनिट्स फॉर द डी सी पेन पर इयर इज नाइन्टी वन यूनिट्स एंड पर फॉर द टेन इयर इज नाइन हंड्रेड एंड टेन यूनिट्स नाउ वॉट इज द टोटल ऑपरेशनल कॉस्ट इज द फिक्स कॉस्ट प्लस रनिंग कॉस्ट सो द फिक्स कॉस्ट ऑफ फैन टिपिकल ए सी फैंस आर अवेलेबल इन फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड रुपीज सो दैट इज फिक्स कॉस्ट डी सी फैंस आर अवेलेबल इट ट्वेंटी फाइव हंड्रेड रुपीज वट इज द रनिंग कॉस्ट एट द रेट ऑफ सिक्स रुपीज पर यूनिट और रनिंग कॉस्ट विल बी टू वन नाइन जीरो मल्टीप्लाइड बाई सिक्स इन केस ऑफ ए सी फैन एंड नाइन वन जीरो मल्टीप्लाइड बाई सिक्स फॉर द डी सी फैन सो इफ यू लुक एट द ओवरऑल रनिंग कॉस्ट ऑफ द फैन फॉर द टेन ईयर्स द कॉस्ट ऑफ द ए सी फैन comes to 14940 rupees for the 10 year operation and the cost operational cost of the dc fan for the same 10 years and for the same air output comes to 7960 rupees so what you see here is a dc fan is more expensive at the beginning it's a 2500 rupees a ac fan is only about uh, 1500 rupees but for the longer duration it turns out that the operational cost of a dc fan is much lower than the ac fan so the point i want to bring here is when it comes to the solar system where every electricity that we generate is going to important it is very important to use appliance which is more efficient efficiency is the cheapest fuel available to us and therefore it makes lot of sense to spend little bit more money in more efficient appliance because if your appliance is going to be less efficient it is going to consume higher electricity and if it is higher electricity consumption then it will take more panel to generate electricity and also it will take more battery to store energy and it will result in a overall increase in the cost so it is quite wise and smart to actually go for more efficient appliances when you are designing solar system there are many more appliances that we use at home and next time when i come we are going to compare some other appliances like refrigerator washing machine microwaves tvs what happens to all this thing and how much energy this other appliance consume well till then keep learning keep doing the homework that i'm giving you I'm sure you are enjoying all this uh, videos do like comment share and subscribe if you are not done so far and let us meet once again for the next step where we look at the more appliances till then thank you very much bye bye take care and stay safe at home